Never really done this before, trying to actually angle my boat to hit the fish. But if we can hit this, this this would be really cool. Whoa! Holy oh god! Oh, this is this is why I shouldn't do stuff like that. Oh, uh, did I did I break my net? Is everything okay? Jesus! going guys stray here and today we're gonna be playing some more fishing baron c now i've actually been playing fishing baron c for the last five hours now because i wanted to get to the final stages of this game check out trawler fishing and uh i decided to do a lot off recording because i could have did like 15 episodes doing the same thing over and over again but i don't think you guys would really like that so we got six million kroners right now i don't actually know how much we need i also got the next certificate unlocked so if we go to the dockyard here we're still Starting off strong today, ladies and gentlemen, because hopefully, well, we can get a loan. I did pay off my loan as well. I don't remember how much the lunar bow is. Okay. Yes, we're going to need a little bit of a loan for this bad boy. What's the size difference between these two? They're actually not that different in terms of size, but obviously Hermes looks a lot more impressive than lunar bow. Unfortunately, Hermes is still locked for us, so we're going to get the lunar bow today, assuming I can get a bank loan at big enough. There's no way I'm getting $10 million worth of fish out of these waters in one day. The good thing is, loans in this game are quite high, as you can see. I mean, we could get 31 million kroners if we really want to, uh, with a term of 48 months. So the interest rate is kind of the most important part. Uh, monthly repayment of 588. That actually doesn't seem too bad. I love that the bottom monthly payment is much higher than this one. Uh, so do we want 12 million or 22 million? You know what? I think we're going to be earning lots of money, and I don't know how much upgrades are going to cost for this boat, but probably a lot of money. And we're going to need probably more employees. I really have no idea what this boat is all about, by the way, so it's going to be a learning experience for as much me as you guys. So let's play it safe and get the $22 million loan, because we can only have one loan at a time. So now we got 28 million. That should be more than enough to at least buy the boat and hopefully upgrade it with all the bells and whistles as well. So let's go and uh, get that bad boy and say goodbye to the uh, Veb, the, the one I can't pronounce. Goodbye, Vebkek. I am not going to miss you because I spent way too much time in you. Congratulations on unlocking and purchasing your first trawler. Lunar Bow stores fresh fish in large tanks in the hull. You're not able to gut, freeze, or stack these fish. But they're sold by pumping them directly into the tanks when docking at the port. So this is what you see at a lot of the, uh, well, if you watch fishing documentaries, a lot of them do that. Fishing trawling, so I'm obviously really excited about this. We'll also need at least four crew members to operate the trawling machinery on the ship. Oh my god! Look at the size difference! Before we were a little boat on this dock, now this dock is a little dock compared to our boat. All right, I never actually changed the name of the boat, so let's call this one the HMS Shitweed. People always get mad when I call all my boats HMS. I know that not every boat in the world has HMS in it. I just like it. And we can also change the paint color. We kind of got this orangey red style going on, so we'll do that. And, uh, oh, I guess that's literally just changing the text color. I thought you could change the color of the boat. Oh, I can repaint the boat with a fresh coat of paint, but I can't change the paint color, I guess. All right, well, we got the HMS shitweed at least, so let's see what kind of things we can upgrade here. My god! I thought it was playing it safe getting that extra 13 million. Storage alone is way more expensive than the money that we got, so we're gonna have to be pretty damn light on the upgrades here. I mean, at least this stuff's cheap, so obviously we want the radar. Uh, the more ocean we can explore, the better. So it's so cheap, why wouldn't we do that? Scanmar and door sensor control allows you to see the distance between the trawl doors and gives you a small amount of control over their mo- I don't even know what- you're, you're, you're not even talking English to me right now. Well, it's 140 kroners, so let's buy it, because why not? Uh, okay, what are these? Extra Scanmar catch sensor indicates if the net is more than 60% full. Okay, that's actually pretty cool. So, um, please purchase- Oh, okay, so we have to go up the tree with this one, so- Let's not go crazy with that. We'll go up to three for right now, which is uh, 40%. I don't even think we can hold 40% of our yield, so yeah. Scanmar Trawl Eye detects the rate of fish mass entering the net, measures the height of the trawl opening. Okay, wow. We're definitely going to buy that, though, because I'm assuming this stuff will help me out a lot. And I need all the help. Nobody's taught me how to do this, so this is going to be fun. Now, we're going to upgrade our engine once. Let's just kind of... Upgrade our engine and our storage at the same time. So, storage upgrade 2. Sounds good to me. And we'll do an engine upgrade 2. And now we got 2 million left. I think it's safe to say, let's keep that 2 million because we might need to spend some right now. Gotta remember, I need to get more employees. 
All right, so we got two employees at this town. They actually aren't that good. So I don't really want to give this guy a 5% rating. We're just going to get the bad guy for right now um, because he's got a lower yield amount. So that should help us out. We might need some more employees later on. Do we want any boat services? Um, unlimited free towing to the closest port is tempting, but I think we should be okay for right now. Let's just get out into these waters and see how this works. So we'll go to the fish market because we probably will need to buy a net. Current boat doesn't support long line or net fishing. So I guess we're all set and ready to go then. All right, well, here we go. Uh, time to get out there, guys, and try out a real fishing boat. Oh, God. Oh, God. Please don't hit the wall already and break everything. Let's actually... Well, we're waiting here. Okay, so it's actually a lot simpler than the other boat, which is hilarious to me because of how crazy big this thing is. But we got a lot less jobs to do, which makes sense. We're basically just storing the fish and bringing the stored fish to port where we don't have to pack them or anything so that's pretty cool do these birds follow me now i know if you have a big enough ship birds will actually follow you i think i just hit that other boat my bad dude i'm a new big boat driver please don't sue me i don't have any money to, to bail myself out anyways and random jump cut to uh confuse you guys uh long story short i ended up recording the rest of this episode and not hitting the record button so yeah, the joys of being a YouTuber. Sometimes you royally screw up. But it did give me a chance to kind of learn how to do this because it's very, very complex. And by the way, the tutorial didn't pop up for me, so I really don't know why that didn't happen. There should be a tutorial for this because it is very, very confusing. But let's waste no time. Let's get out there and do some trawling fishing, shall we? I've already done a lot of it, but uh, you guys didn't see any of that. Where am I going? I'm going the wrong way now. I'm screwing up everything today. This is uh, just another day on the Dragas channel, to be honest. So uh, things are going normally. Uh, so yeah, we did get a little bit money of here, as you can see. I have learned somewhat how to do it, but this is very, very complex. I actually would need to research like trawling fishing to do it perfectly, but you'll see and kind of understand what I mean by that when we do get out here. Now there's supposed to be... Last time there was a boat here. Now there's actually not a boat here. That's weird. And oh, there it is. I spoke too soon. So now we can see the boat in the distance, as you can see, and we can go to the open water. Now, as a trawler fisher, this is the only place you can fish in the game. So you actually, you can't even open the map or anything. So it's like a different instance for some reason. So uh, yeah, this is kind of where we need to be. Uh, it doesn't really show you too much about where the fish are, but we got lots of different things we can play around with here. We can cycle these displays. Uh, we can see there's certain depth meters, our navigation. I guess actually in the front here, we only have three different things. And again, there's supposed to be a tutorial for all of this, but it never popped up for me, so I'm kind of learning as we go here. But let's check out our very awesome boat, shall we? Because this is obviously a big upgrade from what we're used to. Uh, we got, like, some seating over here, I believe. It just it looks awesome in here. This is the kind of boat I would want if I was a fisherman. So, yeah, you got a little uh, crew seating area there for food and whatnot. There's an office on the other side, and... This is where the magic happens, ladies and gentlemen. This is my control station for when we're actually trawl or fishing. We'll do that in a second here. I just wanna actually haven't been down to the deck, so we'll see what's down there. Oh, look at this, I got my little office, my little, hey, uh, this is perfect, you know? I've never really seen like a, a commercial sized fishing boat. I always expected them to be kind of rudimentary and basic, but I mean, this has everything. All right, we'll go to the work deck just to check it out real quick so you can see all the, the cool stuff going on down here. So this is where we haul in, I believe, the fish. Yes, there's a hose over here, and basically it just sucks it in. I think that's the hose. They might add, add the hose later on, though. But it's really cool because they don't touch the fish at all. We just net them and put them into the storage area. Now, I don't think we can get to the front of the boat, but that's where we uh, drop. Well, I guess technically it's the back of the boat. We're at the front of the boat right now. I, I'm clearly a very good captain, guys, because I know where the front and back of my boat is. But unfortunately, we can't go back here to check out uh, where we deal with the big net. There's an invisible wall, but I guess the whole point is for me to stay up here and mind my own business anyway, so that's exactly what we're going to do. Now, we're pretty much ready to go. Uh, we do want to drop down the speed to about four or three to four knots, so we're going to drop it way down because we're not carrying any cargo right now or fish. Uh, we should be able to... Actually, I hope we're not because I was just at port. If we have fish on here... Okay, yeah, we don't have any fish. Perfect. But yes, trawling, you want to go to about three or four knots, so we're going to wait until then, and uh, then hopefully we'll set this thing up and uh, have a good day here. All right, this is the lowest the engine can be, and it's at about four knots, which is good enough. As we uh, start collecting fish, 
Uh, the engine will slow down anyways, as we'll be dragging more weight, so we'll have to deal with the throttle as we go about this. But we do all our stuff here, so we have our main control panel up here. We can't see anything just now because the net's not in the water yet. Uh, we'll get to that in a second here. Oh, yeah, we need our crew members assigned. Can't forget about that. So I think they're resting here. They should, yes, be almost max stamina, as you can see. So we want them to set the trawl right now. So we'll bring those guys out, give them a second to get out there. Where are they? There they are in the back. Getting all ready. And of course, there I am in the captain's nest, minding my own business. Oh, I just love- Look at the size of this boat. This thing is ridiculous. Okay, they should be ready to go, so let's get back into here. And just so you guys know, I know a very basic amount to this. It's very complex, so I can catch fish, but there's probably more optimal ways to catch fish. So we're gonna set the trawl net now. That's gonna start throwing it out. We got these two doors here. Now, these things in the water will expand out the opening for the net. So we want those things to be very spread out in the water so we have a bigger opening, therefore more fish go in. So it's gonna slowly send this thing out. Oh, I think I actually just, yeah, I stopped it from going out. So we wanna put that up, put this up. That means we're letting outline and uh, you can see them going in the water now. Now up here, we should start seeing, yes, we got our sonar set up. Uh, now we got the port door and the starboard door on this. As we start setting it more and more out, uh, they will expand out, and it's a little confusing. The sonar, for me, at least is confusing, but from what I understand, these uh, big circles here are schools of fish. And what you kind of want to do is set those schools of fish in between the port and starboard door, and then if you're lucky, you will get some fish in your net. It's going to take a long time to get it out, though. Uh, this is definitely a slower method of fishing, but even now, we actually have some fish in our net. You can see them down here, and this is how much fish are going in our net. That's what this uh, rating is here. Once that rating goes up, I believe it goes to a max of nine, uh, you know you're on the fish. So you got to watch out for that. This is how much we can hold in the net. Uh, we we got to remember we only upgraded to C40%, so you can go higher than that, but you're not going to be able to see it on this uh, chart over here. And you can pretty much customize all of this. There's a lot of stuff in here that you could put down. For example, I don't know what this is, but a flow, dead rope, whatever that means. I mean, this can get really, really crazy. So obviously, I don't know everything when it comes to trawler fishing. I know nothing about trawler fishing, so we're not going to use a lot of this stuff, but obviously, like, you can even deal with the tilt of the door, I believe, which is what this is. Uh, maybe not. I can't seem to open it, but, like, tension for the door, so you can see the tension of it. All this information will help you catch fish. We're just going for a decent amount, though. You gotta remember, we have a huge boat, so even if we only get, like, 20% yield, it should be good. But as you can see, the fish are down deep. Uh, these will slowly sink down and go deeper and deeper, and we should hopefully hit some fish, assuming we're going at the right speed. So let's make sure our speed's okay, since we did get some fish now. Oh, actually, we're going really, really fast. What? Why'd the throttle go up? I didn't even touch the throttle, and it went up, so that's probably why we stopped catching fish. All right, so we're just going to drop that down back to four or three, kind of in between those two. It looks like even still, uh, our engine's too fast. We actually need to get a bit of fish in that net to drag it, so we slow down a bit. But there we go. We'll turn the engine back on, and it looks like it's going to stay around four, so no big deal. All right, back on the radar, you can see we have a four rating for fish right now. That's really good. We should actually be getting fish over here, as you can see. Uh, we're going at the right speed. There's nothing on the radar, though, so... I'm still learning this, obviously. Usually, you'll see a big school of fish in between the port door and the starboard door. Uh, we went back down to zero, though, so we must have hit that school and left that school. But already, this has actually been a really good run. Usually, it takes like 10, 20 minutes to get to where I am right now. So, we're obviously getting very lucky. But already, we already have over 20% in our net. So, that's obviously very exciting. We can see the depth of uh, both the doors here. Uh, you want to keep them kind of a little bit lopsided, so this looks actually really, really good. We'll drop it down to like 170 or until I get uncomfortable, so there's a random spot. I'm assuming this might be good. We might hit some fish here. But yeah, we'll keep dropping this down, and hopefully we can hit a few schools of fish and uh, fill this thing up. Because I'd love to see what a full net looks like. I haven't been able to actually get lucky enough to get all the fish. And now that we got some more fish in that net, we dropped down to one knot. So now you gotta, you really gotta focus on your throttle. It's important to keep your boat going at a steady pace. I'm assuming it keeps the net open and it also keeps it on pace with how fast the fish are. Good sign. Right ahead of us, we do got a, a school of whales or a pot of whales. That's what they're called, right? Uh, schooling of whales is called a pot. Uh, so yeah, looks like we're good here. We're back to four knots. That's perfect. 
Uh, still not on the fish, unfortunately, but we do got some of these things in the middle here, so we might be okay. And if you guys know more strategies when it comes to trawler fishing, let me know in the comments below, because obviously I know a very basic amount right now. Uh, this is the tilt thing I was talking about, so you can tilt the doors, and I'm assuming that opens the net even more. This is our opening rating up here, the O. Uh, I believe H. What was H? So we have height, opening, clearance. So that's what all these are. And then the fish rating. I really only focus on the opening and the fish rating. Clearance and height. I, again, I didn't get a tutorial or anything, so I don't, I don't totally understand it. And I guess technically my workers are done working. So let's uh, throw them back in there until we're ready to bring in this net so we can keep them rested. The hard part now is dealing with stamina. Because we're out on the water for so long, uh, you definitely want to make these guys rest every now and then. Because, uh, yeah, we could be out here for multiple hours on end. And uh, their stamina does go down quite quick when they are on the deck. So let's make sure that's good. Let's go back to the radar here. Yeah, we're not getting lucky here, guys. We hit that one good patch. And now I'm hoping this big green area is something, and hopefully it goes in the middle of our nets, uh, because I think that might be something. You know what? Let's try and churn a little bit, see if we can affect this. All right. Well, I think we're being attacked by an alien, guys, because uh, that little green thing turned into this. So maybe it's becoming closer to the net, or I still don't really know where this sonar is looking from. I know you can sometimes see it looks like a boat up on top, so I'm assuming... That's kind of what we're seeing. I'm hoping we're not going to crash into anything or something. We should probably watch out, but uh, yeah. Definitely still learning how this works. I love all the seagulls that follow us, though. Just waiting for those fish to come out so they might be able to get a little feast. Oh, okay. Back to the uh, thing. This, 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 this isn't horrifying at all. Oh, we're in the fish. Okay. Look at this. It's going up to five. This is good. I, I, I don't know what's going on on my screen. But this is catching fish, so I don't give a damn. I think we just hit the mother lo Whoa. And it's gone. Well, that was fun. And then it just rapidly ended. So if you guys know more about this, I would love to know what the hell is going on. Because that was amazing. All right, so we got about 40%. We might actually catch some as we're reeling in the net. And it does take a while. So I think I'm happy with this. Let's reel it in and... Uh, yeah, we'll throw it in another net, see if we can get lucky again. So yeah, if you guys, if there's any fishers out there or something, and if you guys know what the hell happened there, please let me know, because I'm obviously curious as well. This is much a learning experience for me as it is for you guys, like I always say. Uh, and I have no idea what that red thing was, but I'm assuming it was a huge school of fish. I mean, that's, that, that's my only assumption. Well, I think I found Mickey Mouse, guys. I don't know what else this could be. Clearly, that is the uh, underwater Mickey Mouse, because... Uh yeah, how are we doing, by the way? What's, what time is it? Oh, it looks like it's becoming daytime, possibly. Actually, no. It is in the middle of the night. At least it should be. But, oh, maybe it's the middle of the afternoon. Maybe we just had crazy overcast. Doesn't say if it's p.m. or a.m., but, uh, yeah, we almost got this pulled back in. Unfortunately, I was hoping we'd hit something on the way up. Doesn't look like we did. Uh, so, yeah, I guess we're just going to have to deal with a 40% yield, which is still a crap load of fish. Let's remember how big this boat is. I have no idea how much it is, but I think it's going to be pretty good. We're going to throw out the net again, though. See if we can try and fill up this boat to a decent amount. Um, oh, shoot. I, damn it. I did the wrong X. All right. So we got that back up. And uh, what are we at? 24. So they should be coming out of the water pretty soon now. We're basically all the way up. And look at how fast we need to go now to go the 3.5 knots that we wanted to. We started off way down right by this uh, white zone. Now, because we have so much fish in that net... I have to basically put it at half throttle, so that's hilarious to me. All right, there's the doors, though. We got door number one and door number two. Now, we should be able to actually do what we need to do now. You need more, four members to haul, trawl to haul net. Okay, so I think I got to move them to the other side. Looks like the doors are all, all the way in anyway, so that's good. All right, now we put these guys over to haul trawl. Why can't I drag it? Oh, God. What is going on? Okay, that was weird. I had them stuck for a second. Let me see if I can now pull it in. I let it out a little bit again. Looks like we can indeed do this on our own. So they're moving up to the front of the boat. It should work now. That was a weird glitch because I couldn't move those guys until I let it out again. So I just let it out just a little bit, but it's all the way back in. We actually should be able to do it right now. Yes, we can haul in trawl net. So press that button and pretty much everything's automated from this point. But, uh, oh my god. 
Okay, so you can see the size of our net here. We got a 40% yield, so it's obviously not totally full, but it's still pretty damn impressive. So right now we're raising the stern crane. That's done. Now they're going to raise, or sorry, lower the bow crane, which is this one over here. And it's really cool. Basically, like I said, this pump over here, it's just connected to the uh, big net, and it sucks all the fish inside the storage container. So they're already doing that. This is all automated. Fishing really isn't that hard these days, I feel like. But there we go. We should be done. And yes, we got 70,000 kgs of mackerel. Not too bad. Now, that's a lot of fish, but as you can see, we can store 800,000 kgs in this damn boat. So I'm going to do another line or two and see how uh, much we can get. All right, so we'll bring these guys back to set trawl. And uh, I moved ahead quite a little bit. I don't know if it affects it if we... Uh, outfish a zone, so I just wanted to get ahead a little bit, just in case. And now that they're over here, we should be ready to go here. I think I got everything all set up, so yeah, let's start this thing up again. Here we go, and out goes the doors once again. So yeah, this is definitely, you can see the outline of a boat here. The further we go out, the less detailed it is. What the hell is this over here, this perfect circle? I have no idea. But that is definitely the boat, and then the doors slowly spread outwards from that. What? What? This thing scares me. It's got the weirdest designs on it. I don't know what that full circle is. Maybe it's the whales? No, I doubt it. But yeah, obviously it's pretty damn weird, so uh, I'm not really going to question it anymore. We're, we're going to hit it with the port door, though. Maybe it is a school of fish, a perfectly round school of fish. Uh, usually these are the fish, though, the big things. And there we go. We were getting close to this, and we have started to get fish. Not really that much. I'm waiting for that big nine. Uh, but you know what? Maybe we should hold it here for a little bit. See if we can collect as much of this as possible. Yes, it's going up to four. I think it's the big white thing, or the big circle, maybe. I don't know. Like, looking in between this, I'm assuming the net's somewhere in here, but it's clearly not, because... We're still getting fish. We're already at 10%. This is great. And we just dropped off. So it's maybe it was that. I, 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 I'm more confused now than ever. All right. I've actually been looking at a guide. There we go. We just hit some fish. And this is good. This means there we go. We just went inside of a school of fish. We should. Well, we. I was reading a guide. We should be getting lots of fish right now. Uh, because if it's all red, that means you are directly on top of the school of fish. So I've been trying to learn as we are playing here. There's a few guides on YouTube, so thanks to the, the smarter people out there who make guides. Uh, there we go. We hit the fish again, as you can see. This is six. This is actually as high as I've ever gotten. Looks like we're slowly leaving the school now, possibly going back to open water. And uh, yes, that was one of the best yields I've had yet. Still, we, we haven't even gotten close to what we got before, though, so that, that wasn't bad at all. All right, I'm going to reel the nets in a little bit because this sea, I believe this means clearance from the bottom of the ocean, so we only got 11 meters of clearance right now, so I'm definitely going to reel it up. Why these things look lower than my doors, I don't really know, but uh, I do know that that is, oh god, that is clearance right now, and we're probably going to hit the bottom of the ocean here. I am reeling it in, though, so we should be okay. As long as we don't snag it on anything, that'd be scary. Oh, we hit some more fish at least, though. All the way at the bottom of the ocean. Uh, looks like it's probably this. Well, actually, the school in the middle here, probably. Since we're dragging on the bottom, that would only make sense. This is actually getting bigger as well, so that's a good sign. We might hit a little bit more of that school. Uh, not too bad. Not too bad. We still only are at, like, 30%, though, so we got a lot more to do. All right, so I'm seeing a big school of fish to the right of our boat. So I'm going to throw this thing over, try and go on top of that. I'm also going to speed it up a little bit. And maybe, just maybe, we can hit this pile of fish here. Uh, I've never really done this before, trying to actually angle my boat to hit the fish. But if we can hit this, this this would be really cool. Whoa! Holy, oh God! Oh, this is, this is why I shouldn't do stuff like that. Uh, did I Did I break my net? Is everything okay? Jesus! All right, I have royally screwed up everything, though, so at this point, I think it'd be smart to just pull in the net to see what the hell happened, because, uh, yeah, this thing is totally broke. So we're gonna straighten this out again. There we go. Keep those, those lines nice and straight. Let's slow it down again here. And again, maybe we'll get some fish on the way in. And here she comes up to the top. I am going about half speed again, so we got about the same amount in this net. Uh, obviously, I'd like to get a full net here, but uh, I don't know if we're going to get that lucky, ladies and gentlemen. There's definitely a learning block here from myself. Uh, trying to do this perfectly it is not easy. Why is... 
It's like stuck. It's not even going in any further. It's supposed to be in right now. Okay, are, are these guys broken again? Are they working? Okay, they are working down there, so I think they just gotta do their stuff. Well, this is a little bit scary. You can see my stamina right now is extremely low. This could mean bad things because we don't have enough crew to deal with this. So I'm trying to bring them in. They're not bringing it any further in though. Is it because it's too heavy? What is going on here? Well, that's not good. We just had our first worker too tired to work. I cannot pull in this net without this. So we're gonna throw it out again for a little bit. Uh, for some reason, I never had this issue before. I'm pretty sure it's a glitch. Uh, but it's getting stuck at the top and they're not pulling it in. So we're just gonna throw it out real quick again. Maybe we can find some fish, you never know. Uh, but we, we have to wait for them to rest a little bit. So I, I, I have no choice but to just have this net hanging out there for a little bit. All right, it looks like we might hit this school of fish to the right of our starboard door. I'm gonna try and turn the boat again here. Let's not be heroes though, but if we turn it just a little bit, maybe I can go on top of that and get some of these fish here while we're letting our guys rest. I have to let them rest for a while too, because as you can see, oh my God, they are not gonna do anything real quick because we're in real time, well not real time, uh, the time goes pretty quick in this game, but I still have to wait an hour for every plus one stamina, which is a lot of freaking stamina. So, oh, it looks good. We might actually be able to hit this. All right, let's stop going out, and let's just hope this hits it. All right, it's going into the middle. We should hopefully see some fish soon. I got to assume that's a nice big school of fish or, or a lot of seaweed, whatever one. It looks like we are a bit low, unfortunately. Uh, we're definitely not going to be able to reel it in in time, though. I'm hoping... Oh, God. What was that? I'm, I'm breaking it. I think they might be over ahead of us. I think we totally missed that. Damn it! We were so close. Actually, no. You can see we're hitting the bottom of it. We're getting just a little bit of fish. Unfortunately, I was not aimed up as good as I thought I was. I guess we could technically reel it in a bit and see if we can get lucky here. Let's see what happens when we do that. Maybe we can get more. Come on, start reeling it in quick. There we go. Now we're hitting them. So we got four. Looks like we're kind of going through the school now. Five. Oh, God. That's what you want to see. Uh, can we get to like a nine? That'd be great. It looks like we're hitting the end of the uh, school, though, because it's turning back to blue. Yep, there we go. We're dropping down to three again. Still, we're over 40% now, so we got that going for us. Now, if only we could reel in this damn thing without glitching out. Looks like I may be hitting another pack, possibly. Looks like a mixture of two uh, schools of fish here. Uh, I have no idea how much fish I have now. I'm actually uh, letting my good stamina lady uh, cook for us so we can at least deal with the stamina issue. So I'm going to give her some time to do that. Uh, clearly, it's not that fast to cook, but uh, still trying to find the fish as she does do that since uh, we have such a huge net. Looks like we hit a school, but I'm not connecting any fish. Could be because my net's all fucked up. I have no idea. There we go. We hit it for a split second there. Uh, we definitely do get, got some fish, though. So I'm understanding slightly how this system works now. I can see the schools of fish. I can kind of aim it up uh, to go into the net. Only thing I really got to understand is, like, the door angle and everything, which is something that uh, is far too beyond me. All right. All our guys are pretty good. We actually got almost two things of food as well. So let's... uh. Haul this thing in if we can. We should be close enough. So there we go. Finally, it is done. Oh, God. Okay, okay. Everything's okay. Whoa. Oh, it always scares me. You know, this game is a little bit glitchy. That one definitely looks a little bit more filled, though. I think we got a lot in here. I'm hoping for at least 100,000 kgs because the first time we had 70,000. So we definitely got over 40% this time. We'll see how good this is. This is exciting, though. Uh, usually, oh, well, from the little that I've tried this, I haven't gotten anything anywhere near this big. So this is exciting to me. All right, they're pumping the fish now, though. And, oh, God, don't crash. Okay, whoo! And we got over 100,000 kgs, just as I wanted. Uh... Surprisingly enough, last time it was all mackerel. Now we have a nice mixture of actually a lot of Pollock and a little bit of mackerel. All right, so that went really, really well. Let's uh, send these guys to rest and go back to port before something bad happens. We definitely didn't get a full boatload, but uh, it would have taken forever to do that. This boat can hold a lot of fish, so let's go see how much this is worth. Oh, we got a new certificate as well? Uh, bottom trawler. So I got a captain certificate for the final boat already. So we were out there a lot longer than I expected, I guess, because, uh, well, I think it took like 350 kilometers to do that. 
uh, doesn't even say anymore. So I guess we can unlock the final boat if we want to now, uh, which is really good. I just need a lot of money because I got to pay off loans, man. All right, let's go up to this top port, though. I think this was a rather small port, so this might be a dumb idea, but uh, it's the closest one, so let's just sell it to them and see how much money we get. It's probably going to be a lot more than what we're used to. Okay, maybe I shouldn't go... Okay, too late. I was hoping to not go too close. Oh, God! Okay, well, uh, I guess we're going close. We don't have a choice, so we'll just dock. And look at that, ladies and gentlemen. It looks to be that we got close to... Four million? Let me actually see when it comes to when we have to, you know, deal with all our crew members and everything. We lost a lot of money there, but our net income was two million. Not too bad for a day on the water, that's for sure. So, uh, yeah, guys, that is a very quick look at trawler fishing in Fishing Barrett Sea. Now, obviously, I still got some learning to do as well. I'm slowly understanding it, but, uh, yeah, I want to learn some more. And maybe next time we'll go out and get the final boat and do some true endgame fishing. So if you guys have any uh, tips, if you know how to play this game, let me know in the comments below what I did wrong, what I did right, and uh, yeah, I always appreciate your guys' input. But we're gonna wrap it up here, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Fishing Barren Sea. As always, thanks for watching and liking, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.